Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a big welcome if you're new here. This is a very full bumper video. I'm going to be sharing 12 big style tips that really work and a bonus one as well and why they work to minimise and hide your tummy in the warmer spring and summer months. I'm also going to give you an update uh, on my recent giveaway at the end of this video. It's at this time of the year, of course, that we start to get most bothered about how we look in our clothes as we start to wear thinner, lighter garments as the warm weather approaches, which may reveal slightly more than we're happy with. Many of us experience weight gain in our tummy area, especially when we're going through the perimenopause and the menopause. So if your waist starts to disappear and you start to turn into more of an apple than an hourglass, don't despair. And if you're like me, a sort of a rectangle, inverted triangle sort of thing, you never had a waist in the first place. But there are definitely techniques and things that we can do to hide our tummies. And these 12 tips, or 13, with explanations on why they're successful, will help you hide it with the right choice of clothes and the right way to wear them as well, so that you look and feel much more confident and much better. So let's get straight on with my first style tip, which is number one, layer up. Spring is a perfect time for layering and this technique can really help to minimise the look of the tummy. So for example, wearing a longer light shirt or top which is loose and comfortable with a shorter jacket over the top gives the illusion of a waist and the effect of your body sort of coming in in the middle. And basically you're creating a fake waist. Um, it's an optical illusion and this technique works particularly well if you choose a darker jacket over a lighter top or a shirt. Now, if you prefer a longer jacket, just layering up over the shirt can also give the effect of creating a waist. As the summer comes, revert to a linen jacket, absolutely beautiful to wear for coolness, and you can just wear a cami underneath or a short sleeve top, and just pair with loose linen trousers for a really comfy look and a relaxed feel. So my next tip involves layering, but it's mainly about creating vertical lines everywhere. This means that necklines such as V-necks will be much more flattering as they create a vertical line and draw the eye down. Also, any long line piece of clothing, particularly my favourite thing, which is a long line cardigan or a kimono, will work really well in giving a longer, thinner illusion and drawing the eye down on the vertical. So to create this look, you start with a foundation piece, like a t-shirt or a top that's a little bit more fitting, not tight, but just a little bit more body skimming. This is so that you don't start with any bulk underneath as your foundation bit. And of course, thin layers are much better than thick layers anyway as we go into the summer. Then add a long looser top as a cover-up like this one and this will give a vertical line all the way down the body and the eye will naturally be drawn down and away from the waist and it gives you a column effect which is always slimming. To add to that effect team your top and cover up with something more fitted on the leg such as leggings or straight leg jeans or trousers and you'll find that the tighter leg will actually add to the slimming effect far more than if you wore looser trousers. Otherwise a good method is to wear the same colour top as your trousers and then have a different colour or a patterned if you like kimono or long line cardigan. This will create the, the longest thinnest column of colour in the middle of your body and is the most slimming. And don't forget a long line pendant necklace too. This has a real slimming and, and vertical enhancing effect. Of crucial importance, of course, to hiding your tummy is the kind of tops that you select. So this is my third point, what tops to wear and which ones not to wear. Essentially, the best shape of tops to go for are those that add a little bit of waist definition but are body skimming, not tight. And a really important thing for hiding your belly is don't tuck anything in. Because if you tuck something in, you're creating an immediate horizontal line across your waist, which is exactly what you don't want to do. So the tops that I would recommend for hiding your belly are ruched ones, although obviously not if there's lots of material in the front, Peplum. Now, peplum top is a really good idea because the material naturally goes out um, just after your waist, so it gives you the hourglass effect. Um, blouses with statement sleeves. Now, these are really good to take the eye away from your middle as well, so all the, all the attention is outside of your torso area. Um, blouses with detailing around the neck area. Also excellent because it, it brings up the attention of the eye up to your neck rather than down to your waist. And empire lines, but 
you need to be a bit careful of empire lines. Sometimes they can work really well, um, but they work best if they're like the one in this picture, actually, with some open neckline. Otherwise, they can add a bit of bulk, the illusion of bulk, to this middle section. And another couple of points. Don't add bulk anywhere near the waist because essentially the aim that you've got is to try and take the eye away from the waist and any bulk just makes it look bigger. Don't wear of wrap tops because wrap tops can often cling to areas that you'd prefer they didn't cling to. Now in the summer of course we like to wear dresses a little bit more so my next styling tip is all about dresses. Number four, what dresses to wear and what not to wear. Oh, and just before I do that, um, if you are enjoying this video, which I really hope you are, please do give it a thumbs up and a like underneath this video. That gives me an impression of which videos you really like so that I can make more of them for you. And also, if you are new here, please do subscribe because it really helps to keep the channel going. I explain fresh um, ideas and inspiration uh, every week and also in my shorts as well, which is, I do two a week of those as well, extra now. And also I talk about styling tips, what works, works, what doesn't work and why, so that you can adapt it to your own wardrobes as well. So my next styling tip is all about dresses. Number four, what dresses to wear and what not to wear. One fundamental rule about dresses is to make sure that they don't cling around the tummy area. So here are some dress shapes that do work if you're trying to hide your tummy. So first of all, dresses with drape, but just make sure that they don't drape around your tummy because obviously you don't want to add bulk to an area that you're trying to disguise. Uh, dresses with a loosely defined waist and a full skirt. Now this is really very flattering. It creates an hourglass effect and it minimizes the waist. The third type is any, basically anything A-line, um, which gives the same effect as the, as the one I've just mentioned now. Another one is uh, shift dresses. These are brilliant. They look chic, they look glamorous, but they cover up your entire torso. So anything could be going on underneath the dress and they show off your beautiful legs. And dresses with patterns. Now I'm going to talk about patterns a bit later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. And asymmetrical dresses because they do confuse the eye and they create an optical illusion with a vertical line. Now the dresses that I would advise against would be any dresses that add bulk to the middle section, of course. You don't want to emphasise that. Any dresses with a belt. And again I'll be talking a little bit about belts later on. And bodycon dresses. But I expect you knew that anyway. So as we're focusing on hiding a belly in the summer, I'd like to focus on swimwear and cover-ups for my next point, which is swimwear and cover-ups. <laughs> I created a little short uh, video recently which featured a great swimsuit. It was black, it had tummy control and it was styled to give the illusion of coming in at the waist further than it actually did. Um, and this is the sort of thing that you might like to consider. But let's talk now about cover-ups because they're glamorous, they're stylish, they just look so beautiful on the beach or in a resort and they cover up everything that you want to cover up. If you want to go simple, just try using an oversized cotton or linen shirt, really cool, really breathable as a cover-up and that will give you the slimming column like I was talking about just now down your middle. Of course the main thing is they come in two types, they come in either kimonos where you put them on like a long jacket or a full um, beach cover-up. Either of those are good. Um, I prefer the cotton or linen ones which breathe such as this one, this is just beautiful, or the longer, basically the longer the kimono or cover-up is, the better in terms of elongating your look and disguising your middle area it is. A great option is stripes, of course, um, because not only is it really flattering, because if, especially if you choose the vertical ones, of course, but it also gives a very nice nautical feel as well. So here is a picture of myself wearing a striped beach cover-up last summer in Greece. Now, this worked and made me appear slimmer, that would make anybody appear slimmer around the middle because the stripes were thin and close together. Now this is really important. This is the secret to stripes making you look slimmer. Um, like all patterns, the larger the stripe or the more bold it is or the further apart it is spaced, the bigger you'll look. So you can see that in this one here. So what you need to do is to look for thin, close together stripes, vertical of course. Which leads me on to my next style tip, which is number six, wear pattern. 
Prints and patterns are perfect for disguising a tummy, particularly when they're either small or medium sized patterns, whether it's a dress or a beach cover up or a top of some sort or a jacket. Now, what patterns do is they confuse the eye, which is brilliant for us. No one knows where your figure starts or stops as they're looking at the pattern instead. Genius. Now, a pattern such as a polka dot is just perfect, especially when it's a small dotted design. Again, back to that point about smaller patterns tending to make you look smaller overall. Graphic patterns are great too. Uh, they confuse the eye beautifully and they look quite modern and with it and, and uh, trendy. One little trick you might like to try, and this would be a little bit of an experiment, but it is very effective to hide your real shape, is to combine two different prints two different patterns in the same outfit. Now things like polka dots and stripes, they work really well, or um, polka dots and uh, some other pattern, um, or stripes and a pattern, just try it. It's not as wild as you might think. So for my seventh styling tip, number seven is don't focus on the waist. This is a pretty obvious point, of course, but you'd be surprised to see how many people don't really think about it when they get dressed. In fact, if you're focusing on minimizing your waist, you may emphasize it instead. So don't wear belts at your waist, especially not wide ones. When you choose cardigans or jackets or even coats, avoid those with belts. If you do want to wear a belt, you may want to have it sitting higher than your actual waist. Also, don't choose any tops that finish with a very intricate waistband or frills or patterns around the waistband. So let's move on to one of my favorite don'ts for hiding a belly. Number eight, don't wear clothes that don't fit. You want to hide your tummy, so you choose something that's bigger than your tummy so that it can't be seen. But the problem with this is it just makes you look bigger. The illusion is that you're the same size underneath as the baggy loose top that you're wearing. So it has the opposite effect from what you want. So what to do instead? Choose clothes that are body skimming, not body hugging or tight, but body skimming. That way you won't add any additional bulk. Another way to minimize not only the tummy area, but actually elongate the whole body for everybody is my ninth point, which is tonal or monochrome outfits. I love this kind of an effect and it's amazing for increasing your body confidence. Just putting on one different tone of the same kind of color so that it all looks pretty much the same color or indeed complete monochrome can do wonders for your self-esteem because it's a, just like a long column and it makes you slim and elongated. Okay, so number 10 is wear high-waisted clothes. High-waisted clothes, particularly trousers and jeans that really pull us in, are brilliant for hiding the tummy. However, make sure that the trousers that you choose have good control and a good quality. Otherwise, you may find yourself just cradling your tummy in the material for all to see. So go for curve options, such as brands like ASOS, Abercrombie. They've got really, really good curve options in their trousers and in their jeans. Um, you don't want loose jeans or trousers. You just want jeans constructed for curvier bodies, like some of these. So my 11th tip is wear shirts as a third layer. Wearing a shirt as a third layer is one of my go-to looks in the spring and in the summer. It's stylish, it's versatile and it's cool. It's also brilliant if you want to disguise your tummy. It's that perfect combination between being able to wear something a little bit more fitted underneath but to hide all of that with a third layer. And that's another reason why it looks good as well because it is that third layer so it just ramps it up a little bit. It's a, lot, it's a bit like the beach kimono or the, the kaftans as well. The same effect. It gives you that vertical line. What works for me in the summer, and it's a real easy, comfortable look, is linen oversized shirts, which again are so versatile, you can wear them over the Bermuda shorts down to the knee, or you can wear them over skirts or jeans or trousers. Um, either way, it just looks so chic and cool. My last point before the bonus point is optional, and it's only if you like it. Some ladies don't, and I think it's personal preference if you like it or not. My 12th point, which isn't my last, because I do have a bonus point, is shapewear. If all else fails, shapewear can really help with those special events, particularly where, you know, it can really help to pull in those little lumps and bumps and you want to look special and it's, you want to look your ultimate best. So now for my bonus point, ta-da, bonus point, highlight something else. 
I think it's really easy, isn't it, to become focused on one part of your body that you don't like, such as your belly, of course. I also think it's a real shame because while you may see that part very clearly, other people don't even notice it. People love us for who we are, not whether our waistlines are as small as convention says they should be. So why not, firstly, Think about what makes you happy and confident and wear that. And also show off a part of your body that you love. Perhaps you've got beautiful legs, you want to wear some fabulous shoes or reveal a little bit of your shoulders. And by doing this, you will automatically take the focus away from your tummy in any case. Two weeks ago, I did a video called what to stop wearing and what to wear instead. And in that video, I did a fabulous giveaway. If you'd like to know if you are the lucky winner, go to my community page where the winner will be announced today. Good luck. So I put some links in the video description underneath this video of some of the things that I've shown you that you might be interested in having a little look at. And I also really hope you've enjoyed this video, ladies. I feel so strongly that uh, ladies of our age should look and feel happy and confident however we look. And I just want to help with that as much as I can. So I hope you have a really amazing day and lots and lots of love. And I'll see you really, really soon next week for a big video and during the week for a couple of shorts. Lots of love. Bye.